Hey, bitch, bitch, yo, hey, yo. You know who it is, and if you don't, it's Stash Tutorials. I do tutorials, and today we got the outline effect that I see in a lot of music videos. Everyone and their mom's doing it. Do I recommend you doing it? Probably not, because everyone does it. But if you want to do it, then do it. I just don't like it, but it's super easy and looks kind of cool. All right, so to need this to to do this to do this effect, you're gonna need plugins, and the plugins you need is Red Giant Universe. Now, if you don't have those plugins, you can't really do this effect. I mean, you can, but you're gonna have to be creative and make it your own. The way people are doing it is they're using Red Giant Universe. So once you have that, you're gonna need to go into After Effects or Vegas or Premiere or whatever you're doing, and it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna show you Vegas and After Effects, and let's get into it. So you have your After Effects composition right here, right? You have your clip in and everything, and you just want it to have, you want him to glow, right? So if you put the effect in right now, um, here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna glow, but that's not the glow we want. We, and if you change the light, you know, it'll do nothing. Cause this is actually, it's glowing on the edges instead of inside, right? So what we need to do is we need to, it depends on what you're going to do. If you want like a video to glow, then like to say, since this camera is moving and we say we want him glowing the whole time, we're going to need to copy the video and then mask him the whole time or rotoscope. Um, if you just want like a transition, then we just need to take a picture. I'll show you both and two ways how to do it. So we're going to do the video for this first. So like I said, to get the outline effect, we're actually going to have to mask him out during the whole thing for this video. Um, it's going to be zooming out, so we're going to have to go keyframe by keyframe masking it. Uh, if you can, on your clip, I would try rotoscoping it. That just means come up here, clicking that, and then just coloring him in. It's way easier, and it kind of does it by itself. But for this instance, I'm going to have to mask him in. So to do that, I'm just going to click on this little pen tool here. I'm going to click on this top layer, click on the pen tool. And then I'm just going to click around, and it'll create a new mask automatically. Uh, just going to do this super fast. There's my new mask. And then I'm just going to go keyframe, keyframe. Actually, I'm going to open this up, go to masks, open up the masks. And then I'm just going to highlight all of these first. And then I'm just going to go one frame to the, or a couple frames, because I don't want this tutorial to be long. But make sure you go every frame, like I always say in all my videos just so each mask is very simple. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm pretty much, since I keyframed all of these, I'm pretty much just keyframing the mask path and to be like that. And like I said, it's very crudely. To do that, I just clicked on this little uh, selection tool here and now I'm just moving the keyframes I made earlier. So now I'm going a couple keyframes to the right here. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna turn out really bad but that's okay here Ooh, it's gonna be really bad that's okay okay and then I'm just gonna go over here now like I always say take your time on your own video especially if it's a music video that you're doing yourself um, you obviously don't want your clients to be like you know this is garbage or if you're if it's your music video you want it to be professional as possible or you can just hire someone like me how to get it all right um i'm just going to do that part because you guys will get the gist of it and the tutorial will be super long all right so now we have a mask so now if we take this off this would be our mask right here it would just be him so now what we want to do is grab your ecto effect uh go to effects and presets type in ecto it's already here for me get gear click on this, drag it onto your top clip, that's where the mask is, and then boom, you have your outline effect. Um, the mask is a little bit too crude for me, so I'm going to put a feather. Uh, I'm going to uncheck mark this so it just affects the whole thing, and I'm going to put like, let's say 20, just so it's not completely garbage. I'm going to do this just to clean this up because it's kind of annoying me. Um, yes, so now what we have, if we look at it, we'll have this effect where he glows. And he moves out here. Let me see. He's glowing and moving at the same time. So if we uncheck mark this, he'll be. And that's a pretty cool effect. I should probably do it more. That's it. 
Um, I messed up the keyframing right here. Let me let me fix that. Oh, that looks super sick. Super sick. All right, to change the color and everything, you just need to go to your effect controls over here. Um, to if you want it to blue, they have presets already made. If I want warm, it'd be you know like a fire type deal. Aqua light, which is a lighter blue. Phantom, which is white, which I like to do. Um, twinkle, you know, another fire type deal. You can also change your own colors and make them yourself. Uh, let's say green on the outside and purple. You know, you can now get this like this green purple. Or if I do red on the inside and purple, you um, you can also mess with this. So if you put like glow intensity, if I raise this up, now he has a huge glow on him. Um, put that back down to like you know whatever whatever right there so like i said if you don't want this distortion type uh, wave looking deal inside of him you just bring the distortion down all the way to zero and then now he will right um just a little bit of distortion oh wait because it's not down to zero put that to there and then now he'll just have a glow over him this gross outlines because my mask isn't that good make sure your mask is good and make sure your feather is on the point um, Alright, so you can change the glow opacity here. Um, source opacity would be him. So if I just take this out, you know, he'd be invisible. Uh, we obviously want the source opacity sometimes. Depends. Glow behind, that would be the mean glow behind him. Um, and if we put it in front, you know, he'd be glowing in front. So glow behind. Oh, if you check that. Check. Do that check. There we go. Um. There we go, and then put normal, we could like change this to lighten, darken, color burn, exclusion, all the gist. So let me uh, let me show you how some ways people actually use this. On top of being like a glow over the person during the video, they use it as a transition, I've seen that a lot. So I'm gonna grab my second clip right here, which is, here it is. Um, and then we're just gonna have a transition from this, from here. To here, here. Let me move this. So from here to him sitting down to him standing. Um, to do that, what you need to do is you need to go to the first frame of your second clip, which is right here. Go to composition. Go to save frame as file. You can change it to a Photoshop sequence, but let's say if you name it like one, and then you do a lot of these and you name it two, um, you're just gonna try to import all of them. Import like all of them, just so you know. Just Make sure you name me some point. So I'm gonna change it to Photoshop, Photoshop sequence. You can change it to you know a JPEG sequence or QuickTime or you know whatever. I'm just doing Photoshop just because it's I can. Um, I'm gonna actually keep this in here just so this is an, for another video I did. But let's do tutorial glow transition, and then I'm just gonna click render. It's gonna take about a second just because it's just one frame. Go back to my composition. And then I'm gonna import the frame I need. Oh, I might need to block this out, but if I don't, all right. Uh, tutorial, all right, now since I'm here, I'm gonna go tutorial glow transition. Import that, click press okay, drag that on. Um, I wanna do it on top of my second clip or my before clip, because that's where the transition is. So this is pretty much gonna be a pop-up transition or maybe even a pop-up like slide transition. So I'm just gonna cut this uh, clip by pressing shift control D delete that few little bit and then just pressing doing the same thing at the end so now I'll have this clip so basically to make this transition it's pretty much like any pop-up transition that I've taught we're gonna want to mask him out first and I always do that so we're gonna right click mask new mask I'm just gonna click inside here and make it disgusting look looking because this is a tutorial you guys don't need the full time. Then again, uh, make sure you guys masks are very on point. I'm gonna go to my mask settings, delete that mask, that first mask, and then it should. There you go. Oh, I was wondering because I have it. So now, if you look at this, he'll pop up on screen right where we need him to be. And then I want to do about five frames to ten. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, right about there, and I'm just going to drag this in, so if you look at it now, he pops up, and then it goes to the next clip, so right, so if you look at it, pop up, next clip, pop up, next clip, 
Um, then we get now what we want to do is drag our ecto onto the transition. So now we we'll have click pop up glow, pop up glow, and the next clip right there. Uh, a lot of people like to do this with like positioning and sliding. So what we want to do is click on the top layer, press P on the keyboard, keyframe this position, make sure your cursor is at the beginning. Or, and I'm just going to move this keyframe at the end because that's where we want it to be. And then just at the beginning, I'm just going to move this to anywhere, let's say to the right. Actually, I'll move it up here to the top left. And so now if you look at it, you'll slide in, boom, which is kind of wacky, but I've seen it done before. Another thing too, you can do the little like mosey, you can do the little mosey like transition, which uh, I think taught in my tutorial Wait, now I have to fix this hold on where's he at like right here you can do like a bunch of clones together so I'm gonna just hold this I'm gonna highlight the top layer press ctrl D and about a couple times and then I'm just gonna let's say I want this to be I want this to pop up about two frames here let's start with this last one this last one's gonna pop up first I'm gonna go one frame back I'm just gonna drag this it'll go one frame I'll go two frames back for the top one. So now if we look at it, I'm going to change this position to about right here. Click the second one, change that position to about right there. And the third one should be where it is. So if you look at it, it should be like that. And that might be too fast, but there's a clone pop-up transition. All right, so I'm going to do, do the same thing for you Vegas followers I have, Vegas subscribers I have. So I'll meet. So now this is the Vegas part of the tutorial. It's going to be the same thing if you watched the earlier part of the tutorial, but just in Vegas. Now, if you didn't watch the earlier part of the, part of the tutorial, you're going to need a plugin for this, Universe Ecto plugin, um, Red Giant Universe. You're going to need that. Uh, that's just how everyone does it. And yeah, it's a pretty simple effect. And I'm going to show you everything that you know, I'm going to teach. All right, so right now I have this video right here, and what I want to do is I want to have the outline on him during the whole video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, right-click right here on the timeline, insert new video track, hold control, drag it on on top of himself, so now we have a duplicate of him. So now what we need to do is I'm going to mute this bottom layer, I'm going to click on this pan and crop tool right here, and then I'm going to click on mask, and then I'm just going to create a new mask over him. So I'm going to do it very crudely like I always do well like I always say make sure yours is on point because you need to look professional and if it's your video you want it to look professional if you're doing this for a client or anyone else you want it to look professional uh, I always have this checked out so I can scroll over here and then it'll move in the timeline um, let me click right here I'm just gonna move about 10 frames forward and I'm just gonna keep moving the mask over about right there and like, then again, like I always say, take your time on this. Make sure everything's perfect, you know, because this looks god awful. But, you know, I don't want you guys watching a whole tutorial of me doing masks. All right, so now what we want to do is it's pretty simple. You just want to go to your video effects, type in Ecto, and then you just want to drag Ecto onto your mask layer. And then you wait, and then you'll have your glow effect. Now, this glow effect comes with a lot of cool presets. Uh, now, right now, you have this blue. If we change it to warm, you'll have this fiery. If we change it to, you know, glimmer, you could change the colors of it. So, if I want this purple, you know, he'll be purple. Glow intensity, if I raise that up, bigger glow. Uh, distortion would be this distortion on the outside and on the inside. So, if you look at the clip right now, you can't really see it that well but if you look at him and not the glow he's kind of waving if i know if i bring the distortion up all the way you know now you can definitely see it um to get rid of that you just want to bring this all the way down and then you'll have just a glow i like to bring the distortion just a little bit just so it gives it a little bit of life of the glow and it looks kind of like burning ah voice crack all right um you can mess with the distortion settings everything you want here and let's say that's just super smooth, you know, now it's super distorted. All right. And so if we have that right here and we undo this, now we have our video here, and then he'll be glowing and moving at the same time. Pretty simple. Um, I'm going to show you the same transition effect that I showed the other 
or the After Effects people, and it's pretty much the same technique as a pop-up transition, as a little Mosey transition. Um, same technique, it's just with a glow to it. So I'm bring on my second clip here. Press U, delete this. You guys don't want to see that. So not right now, if we look at this clip and this hard transition, it'll be like a hard cut. Boom. Him moving. Boom. To him not moving. So what we want to do now is we just want to go to the first frame of the second clip, which is right here. Click on Best Full. Click on the Save. I'm just going to save this image to right here. It'll pop up in my project window. And then it will be all good. Just drag this down to the bottom, to this top clip. Zoom in. I like to go 5 frames. People like to go 10 frames. So I'm just going to go 5 frames to the left. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I know I had said 5 frames, but you guys get the gist. Do the same thing. Go to the pan and crop tool on your new image. Click on mask. And then mask him out take your time on it I'm doing it very crudely make sure to put a feather under mask just to make it look way nicer um, if you don't know how to do that just click on feather right here let's go I, I for this one maybe do both do about two so now if we look at it we'll have a pop-up transition where he pops up and then goes to the next clip uh, same thing go to your video effects ecto drag that onto your clip and then it'll be you know cool phantom slimmer twinkle all right so now if we look at it boom ecto ecto he pops in um it's on best full and change that and then let me preview this ecto boom another way you can do it a lot of people like to put motion into this pop-up transition so i'm gonna click on pan and crop right here i'm gonna go to the beginning click on position and i'm just gonna move this all the way to the left and then at the end, I'm just going to track down, bring on default. So if you look at it, he comes in from the left and then does that. We can also put, like, let's say we don't want him coming from the left and we want him to zoom in. Or let's say you want him to, like, be super zoomed in like this. And then, you know, zoom out. We can do the same thing. So I'm just going to zoom in at the beginning of the frame. So if we look at it, he's super zoomed in and coming in and flying in. To his original spot and then with the other techniques I showed you on the little mosey transition you can add a shake you can add a wave turbulent displacement and it'll look pretty cool um, yeah that's basically it for this tutorial uh, tell me how you guys like this both After Effects and Sony Vegas in one video um, I, it's been a long time since I put a video out I've just been super busy um, making videos and stuff for other people and yeah sorry about that but leave a like tell me give me you guys feedback on this tutorial on this video tell me if you guys liked it tell me if you want to see more after effects and sony vegas in the same video type deals and all of that stuff so peace out later